All right, you guys, we're here at the barn. We've got the deer hung up. This is Sarah's buck. She's going to show you how to skin it out, cape it out, and quarter it out. So the first thing you want to do, come up here, ring around the legs. A gut hook works so perfect for this. Get it in there and just follow it right down to the seam there. Same thing. There you go. There you go. And just gently cut around all this. That's going to flip right over the back. And we're going to do the same thing right here. And then just gently skin all this out. Not only was this an amazing hunt, this is going to turn into some amazing food. There you go. And just whenever you can, peel it just like that. If you notice, I'm always rolling the hide from the inside out, and that keeps from getting hair on all my meat. Now, these mule deer have some thick hair, and they're going from their summer stage into their winter stage. And they actually have fewer hairs per square inch during winter than they do during summer. So you could say the hair is thicker during summer, but it's more insulation in the winter because the hair becomes hollow and is, keeps these animals cool and warm in the Arctic ultra cold winters that they have up here in Saskatchewan. Pull it down nice. Take your knife right here and there you go. And this one. There you go. Alright, babe. Let's start skinning. Okay. And this is never a race, so you just take your time. This will be part of the mount. This is called the cape. going to be tough around that elbow there. Explain how the taxidermist sews this. Yeah. When at the end. 
because I didn't want to write a habit. I feel like I'm getting too far in the meat. It's okay. Just, just get through it. Get down to the skin. Okay. We'll just try to cut off some of this real quick. No reason just to throw all that good stuff away. You make this look so freaking easy. So then you just take that knife and you, there. Is that good or drop it more? Just, just, no, just cut, cut it through the net. Yeah, make sure that you have plenty of hide back there. And that's for the taxidermist to work with. And they'll sew all this up and make it right. But now we have all this done, we gotta get the meat out next. I promise you, when you're a part of cleaning your animals, you want to be a part of cooking it and eating it. You want me to hang it up here? Yep. Does everything cover that needs to be covered because it's raining? Fat packs out the trunk. Doing a nice job there, honey. Thank you. Good. Now this is that you can pull sheet. That off. Hold on, that's okay. There you go. That's just sinew. Woohoo! <laughs> there you go. Fresh pack strap. So now what she was doing, she wanted to come in here and cut like this because she felt better with her knife going this way. I act, I'm the same way, but the way I fix that is, and see how I'm putting my thumb on the back of that knife? That's just adding a little bit more pressure and it's, it's just a little technique that I use. Now, instead of cutting away from my hand like that, I come back here, find that, Find the side, just like that, and then you're, you're gonna, your thumb will feel it. There's a little rib bone right there. See that? Now I just come in on the side of the ribs. Same thing I do on deer, hogs, elk, moose, anything. If you're cutting, whoa, cut good catch. If you're cutting out a back strap, that's the way you want to do it. You hold this. Then you can take your hands and just peel all that off. Here, just, just. Good. Everyone comments on his videos saying, you make it look so easy. He does. He really does. So there's different things that you need to know. You need to know how to hold your knife. You need to make sure your knife is sharp. Then you need to understand the anatomy of the game. The only way you're ever gonna learn all of that is by doing it. And I guarantee you, you're gonna enjoy the process. All right, you guys, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this off, and then we're gonna strip all the meat off of this rib cage so that we have a lot of hamburger meat. All right, so we've got both front shoulders, the back straps, the tenderloins, the rib cage, and our hindquarters. Take that off. 
saw is that was us having a good time out here after one of the most amazing hunts ever we caped the deer out skinned it quartered it now we're going to take it to the processor and have them do a bunch of cool stuff because we've got a moose and two mule deer we're gonna have all of that meat processed and then one of our awesome fans from saskatchewan is going to drive it to florida and then experience an awesome trip on the ranch, fishing, having a great time with us. So it's win-win. And I've never had meal there, so I'm excited. It's going to be very, very good, you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. We gone.